Hi everybody and welcome to Poppy Cooks. Tonight we're making something kind of fun. Not that easy. <laughs> it's a little, a little uh, strenuous, but it's really delicious. It's great for holidays, special occasions, or a Monday. Today we're making a, a roast pork roulade. Oh, a little interested. All right, want to see how we make it? Just keep watching. Okay, for this recipe, we're going to start by sauteing a couple cloves of minced garlic with about half a cup of diced onion, a little bit of olive oil. Now we're gonna saute this until the onions are translucent, about three minutes. Okay, so once your onions are nice and translucent, you're gonna add about two cups of sliced mushrooms. I'm using Baby Bella for this recipe, but white mushrooms, butt mushrooms work great too. You can even go crazy, use shiitake or oyster, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna saute this for about five minutes until the uh, the mushroom starts to sweat a little bit. Oh, and now it's a good time to add your seasoning. Add some salt, some more granulated garlic because who can't have enough garlic? And some fresh cracked black pepper. Okay, so once your mushrooms are thoroughly starting to sweat, you'll see. <laughs> All right, you're gonna add about two cups of frozen chopped spinach. Right, you throw that right in there. All right, you're gonna saute this just so it looks like the, the spinach has thoroughly thawed and most of the moisture is gone. All right. Okay, so once most of the moisture is gone, you're gonna lower the heat a little bit and then you're gonna add just about a half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. I like to use the Italian style because it's got a lot of herbs and it's got cheese. And who doesn't like cheese? All right, so now you're just gonna mix this together till it's all fully incorporated. Once it's all fully mixed in, you're going to shut off the heat and you're going to allow this to cool. All right, so now we're going to prep the pork. Okay, so here I have a three pounds center cut um, pork tenderloin. I trimmed off some of the excess fat. Got to leave a little bit of fat because, you know, fat adds a lot of flavor. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half this way until you reach the ends. So what we are essentially doing is we're going to butterfly this. Okay, just like that. All right, so now we're going to lay down a big sheet of uh, plastic wrap, cover this in plastic wrap, and then we're going to whack it with a mallet. <laughs> All right, because it's a little bit too thick to be stuffing. So right now it's about an inch, inch and a half thick. You want to get this to about its, um, to about three quarters of an inch thick. You don't want it to be too thick. All right, so get whacking. All right. So that was a workout. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do, now you have it all laid, nice and laid out. See how much bigger it is? See my hand? And it was much smaller than my hand before. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay a layer of prosciutto on top of the pork. So that's going to be pork stuffed with pork. Why not? <laughs> okay. So we have our prosciutto layer down. Now we're going to add our cooled stuffing right on top. All right. So once you got it all evenly spread out, or kind of evenly, <laughs> we're going to roll it. We're going to start from the bottom and just keep rolling up like this. Done. All right, so now we're going to use a little bit of twine, and you're going to do it like every couple inches. You're going to tie it together. Okay, so I got this all tied up. I cut it in half so you can see what the middle looks like. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be so good. All right, so you're going to put this into your baking dish. Don't put it directly onto the bottom. If you have a rack, use a rack or use some vegetables. You can use celery. I'm going to do carrots. All right, and then we're going to wrap it again in prosciutto. Because why not? All right, so into the baking dish it goes. I covered it again with some more prosciutto. The carrots are on the bottom, so the pork isn't actually touching the bottom of the pan. And I added about a cup and a half of a dry white wine. Um, you can use the vegetable stock, you can use water. Definitely need some sort of liquid to really prevent this from getting dry. All right, so now we're gonna cover this and you're gonna roast it in a preheated 375 degree oven, covered for a half hour, uncovered for a half hour. And that hour should be just enough time to cook the whole thing. All right, so into the oven it's gonna go. Okay, so it's been in the oven an hour, one half hour covered, um, half hour uncovered. Look how crispy the prosciutto got. Oh, it's going to look so good. All right, we're going to let it rest for a minute before we slice it up. All right, so it's all sliced up. Look how juicy it is. Oh, so delicious. I'd say this could be a special occasion kind of meal, um, or like I said, or just for a Monday. So good, and really wasn't that hard to make. So if you make this, let us know. Enjoy.